Hello there, it's Everything Man 95 uh, Today I'm going to be making some electric wood art using high voltage. It is dangerous, do not do this at home. The microwave transformer here uses 120 volts from the wall to produce 2 kilovolts which is um, how we can perform the, the electric arcs on the wood. So all that we need is transformer, wood, whatever type you prefer, um, a hammer, pliers, those are both preferable, it depends on uh, the method that you want to use. I prefer to use alligator clips with little nail pins, baking soda, and water. This is just normal drinking water. All that I'm going to do is open the baking soda and again you can experiment with this yourself I'm going to use roughly a tablespoon to put it in there and stir it around let it uh, dissolve as much as it can stir it and then as well I have paper towels here to rub it on the wood and to rub off the excess you can also use a paintbrush so I'll go out and I'll cut some different pieces of wood and give you some different examples. So I'm out with the saw and I've got three different types of wood. I'm going to start with this. It's some sort of very thin uh, three-ply wood for construction. I don't know, it was sitting around. Probably soft wood. The size, again, is entirely up to you. I'm going to cut this in half. Uh, so this is the plywood. You can try it large, small, you can try to put your points diagonally across, straight across, try to mess with the grain. I have never tried plywood before, so we'll see what happens. Okay, so here is pine. This is black cherry, which is hardwood. This is actually cedar. This and this are the same piece of plywood, but one is reversed. I don't know what types of wood those are, so we'll see what happens there. And over here, the transformer is hooked up to the variac, which is set to 120 volts. Now, last, last thing you ever want to do is plug it in. Well, don't do this at home in general, but uh, last thing is plug it in. Um, next step place the nails with the alligator clips into whatever desired position on the wood you want. I'm going to do mine on the corners, see how it goes, and flip it over to the other corners. And um, I'm going to put some baking soda water on it right here. And the only reason for the baking soda water is to provide better conductivity in the wood. You can experiment as well with how much water you put, how much baking soda you put in the water, uh, we'll see how this goes. Okay, so the wood has a good bit of water in it. I'm going to take the two uh, nail leads, put them in opposite corners. Right there. Here. The last thing is to turn the power on, or to plug in the variac and then turn it on. Here we go. There, so that's quite nice. Now, if I leave it turned on and leave it going, eventually there will be a large short. I'll show you what, what that looks like. Well, maybe not. See, when it's wet and you let it keep going, eventually the carbon will end up touching each other and you'll end up with large electric arcs. Here we are with the other upside down piece of plywood. This is odd. Hmm. So I'm going to switch to the other corners now. Here's the other corners.
This is very slow compared to the other one. I'm not sure why. I'll show you what happens when you get a complete arc here. There you go. Here's the piece of cedar. I've put water on this one, baking soda water, two times. The only point of the baking soda water is to provide better um, conductive properties to the wood, because wood, dry wood at least on its own, is not very conductive. So here we'll turn on the power. Ooh. Switch corners. Hmm. The cedar is not working very well. I'm going to put on one more coat of water. Yeah. Hmm, that's a weird one. It went down the side instead of across the surface. Last year I have the pine. Oh no, not last. Second last. Oh, again. Softwood isn't acting as well as the uh, plywood. Now I've put the points closer and also the nails are not anywhere near as far in. That's really weird. Last year I have some black cherry. That's about it for that side. I'll switch it to the, the other corner. now in opposite corners and I've not added any more water. Extremely slow. Try again with a bit more water. There, the water definitely makes it go much quicker. If you look closely, you can actually see the depth that the, that the electricity actually made the carbon go. And there's little holes in the wood now. There's little trails where it went. So there we are. You can see how well the uh, plywood worked and the black cherry, but not so much the pine and the cedar. Now if you know why, please let me know in the comments uh, that the softwood does that compared to the others. And um, don't play with electricity, always be very careful around it, but when it's done right it can do quite the interesting things. Uh, have a nice day.